What's up everyone? It is June 3rd, 2015 and it is your Radio Tokyo midweek update. And leading off this week, I have a huge, huge announcement to make. It's not about Radio Tokyo, uh, but it is in fact about the Suicide Squad movie that we dis discussed quite a lot lately that's coming out here soon. Um, last week, uh, there was, of course, you know, the uh, leaked footage of the Batmobile and uh, Harley Quinn on a motorcycle and the Joker's vehicle and all the still shots of Jared Leto and Margot Robbie on 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 set, you know, and, and Will Smith's costume and all that other fantastic, amazing stuff, you know, that we all got to see, including uh, something that I just recently found out that was released was an image of Batman himself actually in Suicide Squad. So it is confirmed Batman is, in fact, making an appearance. I do not know if it is, uh, uh, I just lost his name, Ben Affleck, I'm sorry about that. I do not know if it is Ben Affleck, but the bat suit uh, looks to be the one that he is that, that he will be wearing in the Dawn of Justice film. Um, but the news is, you know, not clearly not the leaks. The leaks are important, you know, and it's glad that we all got to see those things. However, uh, what we are not aware of, at least most people are not aware of currently, is that those leaks were not people who worked on the movie, and it was not fans who were there watching. Uh, when I say it was not people who worked on the movie, you know, typically whenever there is leaked footage from someone who's on set, you know, it's someone who took it uh, discreetly and put it online for everyone others to see, trying, you know, just to spoil movies. Uh, this was done, all of this, all of the images, all of the video that was done, was actually intentionally done. Uh, it was announced by, I believe, the director of the film. He said that uh, something to the effect of that it was, you know, just to try and show off what's being done in the movie and that it was not going to happen again. Uh, the movie is now going dark, uh, which is a direct quote from him, which is fascinating to me uh, because uh, this individual went on to say that um, this was not, you know, going to give away anything in the movie. This was literally just a tease from the movie for all of us, which I think is amazing. It's nice to see a movie, you know, that clearly wants to keep its fans uh, happy and will image, you know, and, and will and we'll specifically release things like that. It's not like it's been done in the past with something like Star Wars, you know, where you get the little, you know, minute-long trailer or whatever. Now, I, I'm not saying at all that the uh, Force uh, Unleashed, I think it's the name of it. I, I'm a horrible Star Wars fan, aren't I? Anyway, the new upcoming Star Wars film, I'm not saying that it's a bad trailer. That's a good trailer. Uh, both of them were really, really good. Uh, but, you know, you see just little quick images in most movie trailers, and you don't really know what's going on. Uh, with this one, you get, you know, the whole scene where, it, it, it like, uh, for example, most of what has been done of Harley Quinn from the Suicide Squad film is her in a blue shirt and black pants and, you know, glasses. And she, she looks like she's just normal, everyday Harley and Quinzel. And... The speculation around this is is that this is sort of a backstory to how she became Harley Quinn, uh, which could explain the image of why she pulls the gun on the Joker. Maybe he's escaped from Arkham Asylum and Batman's trying to catch him, and so is she. Maybe he's trying to catch her. Who knows? Um, but I guess we'll find out when the movie comes out. Um, and then even more exciting news about movies, uh, the World of Warcraft movie is seemingly going to be a lot better. Uh, it was announced this week as well that the Hulk from the Avengers and, our, and, and, and uh, his own movies is uh, related to the orcs from the Warcraft film. Now what that means is 
you know, I mean, it, 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 it sounds interesting to hear it. You think, well, maybe the orcs are just human beings that are genetically modified, but no. Uh, what it is, is, is alluding to the models of the orcs, which were all done by Blizzard, as we found out. Uh, Blizzard Entertainment uh, did m a l gigantic amount of storyboard art and suggestions for the film, and, uh, you know, uh, Industrial Light and Magic, who was doing the special effects and design and, and actually doing CGI for the orcs, uh, listened very, very carefully to what Blizzard had to say. So we are going to be seeing something that Blizzard designed. Uh, the story is, of course, written by Chris Metzen, and it's just going to be neat. Uh, but the orcs are all uh, motion capture, uh, it's, it, which is exactly the same way that the uh, Hulk was done. Uh, it's the same way that Gollum was done in Lord of the Rings. You know, you have an actor who portrays them, and... Well, it, 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 in the instance of, say, the most recent Planet of the Apes film, uh, Andy Serkis, you know, who also played Gollum, uh, he had to wear, you know, arm extenders for certain scenes when he moved and whatnot. But this, but, but the orcs in this are done that same way. You know, they all wear special body suits and they all have to do specific actions and they're all fully rendered. Uh, which means that not only will they have hair on them, which they do, uh, it will be individual hairs, and they'll probably be like the Hulk, and they'll have fingertips. I, I mean, not fingertips, fingerprints, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. They're going to be that realistic. And there is thus far uh, one slight spoiler given for some of what the actors are having to do who portray the orcs. And uh, the one, that the, the specific example given was... Um, Clancy Brown, who is playing Orgrim Doomhammer. No, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He is playing uh, Orchief Blackhand. Uh, he had to sit on top of a giant rocking horse and give a speech. And, you know, if you know anything about orcs from Warcraft lore, they all ride wolves. So that means that Clancy Brown, somewhere, somewhere up in Canada, because this movie's being filmed there, is on a wooden rocking horse, or he was at least, on a wooden rocking horse, pretending to be an orc in a wolf, and that is the coolest mental image I have ever had in my life, I think. Um, yeah, but there is fully realized set somewhere, which means that somewhere in a warehouse... There is probably a portion of Stormwind, or Elwyn, or Westfall, or something that has been built. We may even have scenes from Draenor that have been built. And they're there, they're real, and the movie's been done. I mean, it's 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 still in post-production right now, which is, you know, cleaning up the orc models and everything else. And uh, a little bit of news uh, about this movie that, again, I just learned, that comes from uh, Panzer from Trade Chat, is supposedly, supposedly, uh, there will be a sneak preview of the Warcraft movie coming out in a few days, uh, just before the Jurassic Park movie. So, it may be there, may not be there, no one knows. Uh, it's mostly a rumor right now, but... If you're going to see Jurassic Park, you know, try and go early, just in case. Uh, but yeah, that's really all that I have this week. Um, oh, wait, hang on, one more thing. Uh, I wanted to apologize for last night's stream. There were several problems with it. Uh, most of them seemed to have been on my end. And, um, you know, to anyone who in, who, who in, in Germany... You might have wanted to watch. I wanted to apologize for you because you will not get to see last night's stream. Uh, if you wanted to watch on iPhone or uh, PlayStation or something like that, uh, I also apologize to you. I had two copyright claims show up because I played some music during the stream, and it, it, it's it's a simple issue. Uh, but it's but you know last night's video was blocked in Germany and on certain platforms. 
Um, so, so, so please, if you go and you watch the full stream, uh, please do me a favor, and not, not just me, but the individuals whose music I played, uh, they are, they are linked in the description, um, so please go check them out, and, you know, it, 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 it wasn't intentional, I was not trying to copyright anyone else's work, you know, it, it was just me having some fun, so I'm, so I'm sorry, if that caused any confusion, so please be sure and go, uh, check out the actual music, um, but yeah, there should be, uh, a couple more walkthroughs up this week, or I'm, I'm aiming for it, and for sure I'll be live streaming some more of my, uh, doing the World of Warcraft Iron Man Challenge, and the Saturday show is coming up soon, it's almost on us, guys, uh, Danny will be there, I'll be there, and we're going to have a good time. Uh, we're going to try to have as good a time as we did last week, because last week was was pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, just, you know, stay tuned, and uh, like, comment, subscribe, and share on this, and uh, let me know uh, what you think about, you know, the Suicide Squad, the Warcraft movie, or me live streaming, you know, uh, keep in touch. So, yeah. Have a great day, and I will see you all soon. Bye-bye.